What a week for basketball as we break down what happened with the 5-on-5 five five fast break recap. In his third game of the NBA season, rookie Jalen Green hit 30 points. The only other NBA player to pull up 30 points just in the third game of the rookie season was the GOAT himself, Michael Jordan. The third ball brother, Leangelo Ball, who was waived in 2020 by Detroit Pistons during preseason and played in the summer league with Charlotte Hornets this past summer, has been drafted to Greensboro Swarm in the G League draft. Also, if you're a subscriber to Apple TV+, Plus, you can watch Kevin Durant's executive produced series, Swagger, which is loosely based on Kevin Durant's young life. We here at Basketball Youth will be tuning in. And since you're tuning in to 5 on 5 Fast Break News, like, comment, share, and subscribe because we are about to get into the rest of the basketball news this week. Here we go! Missing out on basketball news is already tough. So go ahead and tap that bell icon for the latest in basketball you. Over the past couple of years, NBA players would use themselves by bumping into the defense to draw contact in order to draw fouls for free throw attempts. This season resulted in some new rule changes in the league. Doing those attempts will not draw a foul. This caught attention from James Harden, who runs these draw fouls the most. Although the fouls were not called, some way, somehow, Harden still managed to smack 29 points off of 16 free throws made out of the 19 attempts, beating Indiana Pacers Friday night 105 to 98. No easy way out this time around. It's time to get physical. After announcing his retirement earlier this year, Joaquin Noah has been announced as a team ambassador for the Chicago Bulls. Noah played for the Bulls in 2007 to 2016. Honored by this new position Thursday night, Noah stated that it means so much to him that he's a bull for life. Now, being the ambassador for Bulls, he plans to work with the organization to build relationships with people throughout the city of Chicago, as well as the Bulls' organization making an annual donation to the Noah's Ark Foundation, which belongs to Joaquin Noah, of course. As we celebrate this new platform in Noah's career, let's remind the Basketball U family about Joaquin's big accomplishments. Two-time NBA All-Star, NBA Defensive Player of the Year, and two-time NCAA Champion, as well as earning a J. Walter Kennedy Citizenship Award, and now labeled as an ambassador for the Chicago Bulls. Big resume for Noah. Congratulations. With Gerald Green being player development coach for the Houston Rockets, Joaquin Noah being the team ambassador for the Bulls, J.J. Redick decides to be the voice of the game as he joins ESPN as an analyst for the NBA. In this week's game between Brooklyn Nets and Atlanta Hawks, J.J. Redick will debut his podcast-like skills to national television as a studio analyst. Redick is thrilled to have found a place on the biggest platform in sports and looks forward to starting his post-playing career with this organization. Joining LeBron, Carmelo, Durant, Harden, Westbrook, and Chris Paul, Seven-time All-Star LaMarcus Aldridge comes fresh out of retirement, signs back with Brooklyn Nets, and reaches a career total of 20,000 points in a win against Indiana, becoming the 48th player to reach this milestone while currently being the seventh active player to reach it. Nine-time NBA All-Star and Hall of Famer Gary Payton is putting the glove back on in the playbook as the new men's basketball coach at Lincoln University. It's great to see Gary Payton being a college coach in his hometown of Oakland. And not only that, his son Gary Payton II is currently playing for the Golden State Warriors. Using this new opportunity, Payton stated it's the only reason he took this job and that he can bring something back to Oakland, California. We can't wait to see what Lincoln University in Oakland has to offer once Gary Payton steps in as head coach. LeBron's sore ankle injury had the Lakers in an early start struggle. It didn't hold the team back as LeBron returned to give his former team the smackdown as both LeBron and Carmelo hit a combined of 50 points in a 113 to 101 win. Last week began the exhibition games for the NCAA with highlights from Arkansas, Kentucky, Syracuse, and Illinois. It seems these teams are well ready for the upcoming season set to begin next week. 
let's take a moment to check out some of these highlights before we move on. The season is starting hot with a crazy tie at the first position in the Eastern Conference featuring the Knicks, Bulls, Heat, and Wizards, while Utah Jazz and Golden State Warriors hug it out for first in the Western Conference. There's no way this will last for too long. One of the teams is going to take a hit, but it's a streak worth seeing this early on. And now, it's time for the 5-on-5 five five Fast Break Trivia. Who was the youngest player to reach 30,000 points in their career? Is it A, Michael Jordan, B, LeBron James, C, Kobe Bryant, or D, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar? The correct answer is B, LeBron James who was 33 years and 24 days old when he reached this milestone. And as of right now, he's under 3,000 points away to taking the number one spot from Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. LeBron James has already passed the likes of Kobe Bryant, Michael Jordan, Dirk Nowinski, and Will Chamberlain. Only Kareem and Karl Malone are currently rising above the king. Presented by Nike, the all new city uniforms have been revealed representing the 75th anniversary of the NBA. These jerseys provide historic moments from each of the team's history. If you want to know more about each uniform, check out lockervision.nba.com. It provides what uniform they will be wearing and where you can buy it. These uniforms will be debuting in tonight's games, and you can have one yourself on Monday, November 15th. Don't forget to check out some of the other videos here on Basketball U. We are currently working on some content so you can check us out daily. Also in the description is our links to social media. We also have many more surprises coming soon, so be on the lookout for that. The support has been great and we want to make sure we give you back that same energy by providing all of your basketball needs. Thank you for all the kind comments in the comment section. Shout out to the new subscribers and everyone watching here in the United States, to the Philippines, India, Canada, United Kingdom, Australia, Bahamas, Trinidad and Tobago, Nigeria, Kenya, Belize, Germany, Netherlands, Brazil, Italy, Malaysia, South Africa, Denmark, Indonesia, Ireland, Ghana, Thanks for the love, and be sure to check out many more of 5 on 5 Fast Break News here on Basketball U. Almost forgot, here's another reminder, youtube.com slash basketball U. Our new URL makes it easier to find us. Again, thanks for watching. This concludes this edition of 5 on 5 Fast Break News on Basketball U. We bring you the latest on all things basketball, from college to the NBA to the WNBA, and all you gotta do is subscribe. And remember, someone's always work. Are you? You? You?